Hey, what's up everyone? This is Wicked Android HD and today I have the honor to show you the most precious, the most uh, prestigious ASP ROM for the Galaxy S4 in my opinion, which is the Resurrection Remix ROM. It's been uh, it's been a while since they first released their first uh, build and now they finally arrived at this stage 5.5.6 Resurrection Remix it is maintained by um, TJ Steam Steve MX which also made the kernel radium active kernel because he is a part of a radium team a ROM that I, I have uh, reviewed earlier this afternoon and um, I have to say with my honest words that uh, in my opinion this is the best ASP ROM ever, ever made for the Galaxy S4 and I don't want to upset anybody this is a personal opinion if you don't agree with it just stay cool click the dislike button and uh, leave the video like this but in my opinion as I said and as I stated before this is the best ASP ROM because every single, almost every single week, it uh, gives it gives us, uh, it gives the users uh, important and important update. Um, so it is based of uh, on users' feedback. So if they report a bug, they will fix it ASAP, and uh, they will release a new version of this ROM with much more things fixed, uh, more improvements, and so on and so forth. So, uh, here this main screen is also something specific to the Resurrection Remix, speaking of um, the default wallpaper and of course the ability to have by default these touch buttons activated, like this. And I'll show you how to disable them and how to customize this ROM in the following minutes. So, as any other ASP ROMs, it uh, has the the option to customize, to heavily customize the system, the user interface. And I'll show you in the following minutes. So we have here a personalization menu, configurations, category, and I will get into a bunch of categorized settings, starting from status bar, notification draw, recent ending with performance tuning and updates which is a module that allows you to keep uh, to keep you updated with latest news about this ROM and latest updates of course with the ability to update it over the air so speaking about status bar we have the default status bar settings here including a task manager which is also a, an interesting uh, an interesting feature so like this all you have to do is to press this button and it will show you uh, how much of the memory you have left for uh, in terms of RAM random access memory so show notification count I don't really like it okay um, yep carry label temperature it didn't actually work for me shown right show without scale it never worked for me this this option never worked for me uh, but it's really unpleasant to see that these icons are flickering here maybe a new bug but let's give this a time give it some time to make up cache and so on headset icon shows icon when headsets are connected network traffic show logo this is the Resurrection logo and of course quick pull down from the right like this and it will show you all these uh, toggles, all these styles greeting menu which works like this, yeah Resurrection Remix so when you unlock your device take a look at this so I will focus to this part it will sh show Resurrection Remix like that Oh, battery status style this time is circle but I like it to be a stock icon portrait 
battery bar customizations, battery bar location. Yep, top of navigation bar like this, or even bottom of navigation bar like that. But yeah, there's no point in getting into this random stuff. Notification drawer, as always, you can add as many tiles as you want, starting from ADB, ending with the NFC play button, reboot menu, and slim floats. Slim actions and yep, slim floats is uh, that option which allows you to multitask between apps. So two apps open simultaneously. Um, colors you can customize every single color here, starting with this fucking annoying blue, ending with some really nice dark uh, color. Force expanded notifications, custom header image, show weather and slim actions. Yep. Recents app panel you can disable search bar in recents menu, as it's shown like here. But you can disable it to make it look more clearly, more minimalistic. Memory bar. Clear all task, clear all button, shake to clear. Yep, this is a new feature. Shake to clear. Woo! Yeah, this is nice. Anyway, I don't think I will be using this ever, but yeah, it's nice to have here, you know. Let me try it again. This time with a more complex view. Yeah, <laughs> really nice touch. So let's back it. Let's get back into business. Enough fun, recent. So yeah, and slim recent task task panel, which allows you to open apps in floating mode. The multi window I've been talking about. I'll make you. A, an example, I'll give you an example of how this works. So I'll, I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit and focus, and then we're gonna click settings and open in floating mode. And we're also gonna click the settings app and sorry, and open into floating mode. Sorry, I opened some <laughs> settings twice. What the fuck, floating mode messaging. Okay. So step to the top and I will snap this to the bottom to show you a multitask feature. So this is how it looks like, works perfectly fine. It's not as, uh, as good as the default one from Samsung but it's a start and Android M will come with more of these uh, kind of features. So let's expand this. Okay, so configurations. Okay, and this is how you, any other menus pop up. And I'll get out of this multi-window screen. So settings, let's get back into configurations menu. Lock screen, you can customize shortcuts. Before shortcuts, you can, um, yeah, you can add different shortcuts. Have here the heads up notification display. Quick shortcuts, these are the ones here. And you can select, for example, if you don't want to have the dollar here, you can customize and select. For example, let's um, open up the torch like this, and if you slide right, it will open up the torch, as you may see. Frankly, I don't know how to stop it after you turn it on. But I have here the widget, a little small slim uh, widget, which allows me to stop the, the flashlight. Okay. Oh, lock screen. Lock press lock, lock icon to launch torch. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's another feature. Double tap to sleep anywhere. Everywhere on lock screen to put the device to sleep. Lock screen colors display music visualizer. Let's see if it's working. 
so double press and it will go to sleep yep works perfectly okay buttons navigation bar buttons I have uh, showed you earlier slim dim yeah hardware keys backlight for five seconds power menu and call wake up device answer call long press action wake up device by hitting the volume buttons and yes so on and so forth animations you already knew what this is gonna do um, these are the user interface animations anyway it's not uh, it's not a good uh, I don't have I don't really have a lot of time to get into these all of these gestures you know what this action does you just slide from uh, the left side or the right side and just uh, make a gesture in order to open some app to do some uh, actions miscellaneous settings wake lock blocker system app removal you can remove many apps performance tuning you have three battery modes power save balanced and performance force high-end graphics enables high-end visual graphics proceed with caution high-end graphics what the heck is that use GPU for composing system screen might fix video playback issues, kernel tweaks, scrolling cache, and updates. Okay, so personal opinion about Resurrection Remix. Let's make a phone call and see. Okay, how fast? Dials up, yeah, really fast. And also see how it looks when we receive a message. It vibrated twice, but uh, it won't show any ambient display because I disabled not ambient display that function where it automatically fades out the screen when a lock screen to show the R notification. So like that, you can reply it fast like this. So, yep, that was the ROM. Again, I think this is the best ASP ROM for the Galaxy S4. Um, because, um, as I stated before, it is updated really fast, really often, and it gives you a hell of a lot of settings. And why not? It looks cool by default gives you a nice um, personal touch like this wallpaper and um, yeah that's kind of it. kind of stable I don't know about the battery life because as always I don't have the time to test it properly um, so yeah that was it for today if you like it if you did please make sure you thumbs up hit the subscribe button right down below and uh, that will keep me motivated doing this kind of reviews so this was the resurrection remix the well-known Resurrection Remix ROM with the great Resurrection Remix team. Thank you for watching, guys. Wicked Android is out. Bye-bye.